So, Alexander the Great, one of the most famous figures in ancient history, was apparently a big fan of one summer treat beloved by many to this day. Marco Polo, the Italian explorer and writer, is said to have brought back from Asia a recipe resembling sorbet, a frozen dessert made by mixing sugar-sweetened water with different types of flavoring. This dessert, which was later named cream ice, was a frequent treat at the court of Charles I of England in the 17th century. In France, it was Catherine de' Medici who introduced the beloved frozen dessert soon after she married Henry II. The frozen treat became available for the general public somewhere in the 1660s, when a Sicilian man blended milk, cream, butter, and eggs at Café Procope, the first known café in Paris. Thomas Jefferson himself had a preferred recipe for ice cream, which took a staggering 18 steps to complete. Ice cream has become so important in popular culture that it even has its own laws and regulations to accompany it, to make sure ice cream is always produced with its certain levels of quality. Not every frozen dessert you see out there is, in fact, ice cream. To be commercialized under this name, the Icy Delight needs to contain a minimum of 10% dairy milk fat and mustn't weigh less than 4.5 pounds per gallon. Genuine ice cream doesn't actually need to be too fluffy. In technical terms, that means it must have no more than 100% overrun. So, to get to that specific texture we've all come to know and love, the ice cream base needs to be sufficiently whipped, but only to a certain percentage. Specifically, for every gallon of ice cream base, the end products must not exceed 2 gallons after whipping. Your favorite summer dessert can yet again be broken down into many other subcategories, like reduced-fat ice cream, low-fat ice cream, or non-fat ice cream, based on, what do you think, fat percentage. To have a solid idea of what you're ordering each time, it's best to look at the nutritional information of each product. One interesting type of frozen dessert is gelato. Although it literally translates to ice cream in Italian, there are differences between the two again based on regulations on milk fat content. Gelato normally has less milk fat than ice cream officially should have, but since it has a low overrun, about 20 to 30 percent, the end result is still dense and rich in texture. The Italians also mention that gelato shouldn't have less than 3.5 percent of fat. If this doesn't seem complicated enough, the French also bring their own twist to the dessert. French ice cream, also known as frozen custard, apart from the standard ingredients, also needs to have eggs added to the mixture, with no less than 1.4% egg yolk. You've probably mislabeled many other food items, like say raspberries, as they're actually a member of the rose family, along with cherries, apricots, plums, pears, apples, peaches, or blackberries. They are added to this category based on their flowers. They bloom in five equal petals arranged around a central core. Bananas are considered berries, while strawberries aren't since they belong to the same rose family. We also share about 50% of our DNA with bananas, which explains why both bananas and certain attractive people can both have appeal. Next time you're getting ready for work, take a closer look at your go-to shirt. Every buttonhole is stitched vertically, but check out the very last hole. It's stitched horizontally, right? This is because the bottom part of your shirt endures the most stress from pulling, as it's where your hips are. So that horizontal buttonhole isn't a mistake. It's put there to stop your shirt ripping as your hips move. That layer of bubbles that forms when you add bubble bath to your tub isn't just for fun. The bubbly layer also acts as insulation and keeps your bath warmer for longer. The pom-pom on top of your beanie wasn't put there as a fashion accessory. The pom-pom was originally added to the hat to prevent sailors banging their heads on the ceilings of the ships that were too low. Crackers have holes in them to stop them cracking and breaking during baking. If the holes weren't there, steam would build up inside the cracker and make it collapse. Those numbers on stickers they put on oranges aren't random. If there are four digits and the first is three or four, This means the fruit has been made with conventional farming techniques. Five numbers, beginning with an 8, means the fruit has been genetically modified. Five numbers, beginning with a 9, means the fruit is organic. Margins on paper aren't for writing in dates and numbering lists. They were originally added to serve a protective function. 
Back in the day, rats used to be a pesky problem in people's homes, and paper was one of their favorite snacks. Margins were added as a safeguard, so that the rats would nibble on blank paper rather than taking a bite out of your important work. If you put your Chinese takeout on a plate when it arrives, you're doing more work than you should. Much like the paper condiment pots in fast food restaurants, your cardboard Chinese takeout box can be unfolded to create the perfect size plate for your food. The long neck on your soda bottle is designed like that to encourage you to hold it there. That way, the heat from your hand will only warm that top bit of the bottle instead of heating up your whole drink. Why does a lapel have a buttonhole with no matching button? Originally, coats and jackets did have a corresponding button so that the wearer could turn up the collar and fasten it around the neck to keep warm. Over time, people stopped doing this, and the button was removed. But many suitmakers still keep the non-functioning traditional buttonhole. It's always hard to see your food in the microwave because of that pesky black grate on the window. But it's there to stop harmful microwaves escaping called the Faraday Shield. It protects you as well as ensures that your food cooks properly. That random diamond on your backpack is called a lash tab or a pig snout. It's there so you can thread cords through the holes to carry extra gear. Perfect for camping or long hikes. Golf balls are covered in dimples, rather than being perfectly round, so that the ball can fly through the air more smoothly, decreasing the drag and allowing it to travel further and faster. Your makeup pads have two different sides for a reason. The bumpy side is used for applying makeup, while the flat side is for removing it. Donuts have holes so that the inside and outside cook evenly. Before the holes were added, the inside would often be greasy and doughy, while the outside was crisp. Your Apple laptop charger has tiny legs that can be folded out, and they're not there so your charger can stand up. These legs, when unfolded, allow you to wrap the cable around and then clamp it into place, securing it and preventing the cable getting tangled or damaged. Now take a look at a soda bottle, and you'll notice a disc inside the bottle cap. This helps seal in the liquid and the drink's fizz, stopping it from going flat. Stickers on fruit seem to provide zero information about the product. But if you look closer, you'll find some numbers that can tell you more. A five-digit number where the first number is 9 is a good sign. You're about to buy an organic product. A four-digit number starting with a 3 or 4 means it was conventionally farmed. And if the number starts with an 8 and there are five digits, well, it's best to leave it on the shelf. A dollar has its secrets, too. A large letter with a rim shows which bank is responsible for issuing this bill. There are 12 banks distributing currency. For example, the L says it was printed in San Francisco. Now, some cups look like they're chipped on the bottom, but they're produced this way. In fact, these dimples are supposed to keep the cup in place on wet surfaces, and it doesn't let excess water accumulate while it's in a dishwasher. Small hollows in a chocolate box are designed for chocolate lovers. Press the closest deepening to the chocolate that you want to grab, and it'll jump out of the box right into your hand. Bath foam can be more than just a pleasant smell. It also has a sort of thermoregulatory function. The bubbles save water heat, so you can enjoy your bath a little longer. Disclaimer, it works for acrylic bathtubs only. Those made of metal lose heat fast, no matter how much foam you make. A good doorknob is one that's made of brass, bronze, or some copper alloys. These metals have an anti-germ effect. Bacteria spread way slower on them. They also get rid of germs pretty fast, within a couple of hours. No, it doesn't mean you don't have to wash your hands. If you pour milk or juice right onto your t-shirt every single time, you're probably not doing it right. Try pouring it from the other side of the carton. It sloshes less and is easier to control. There's only one way you can store your peanut butter right. If you place it the regular way, it may get a bit solid before long. The trick is to store it upside down so the oils don't stay on the bottom all the time and distribute evenly. A dinner jacket has small pockets above regular ones, and they're not useless. 
They're called ticket pockets, and were designed so that gentlemen wearing such jackets could easily access the tickets and show them on a train. They could also store cash and other small loose items in a super convenient way. Now, whatever coffee shop you go to, all the disposable cups look exactly the same, only the logo changes. The secret here is the special shape that allows you to enjoy your drink easily. The top is always wider, which allows it to accommodate your nose while you're drinking. And the bottom is always narrower, so that anyone can hold it easier, even if the hand is quite small. This width difference also allows the cups to stack. Triangular flaps on small juice cartons can help control unwanted spillage. If you flip them and use them as handles for the carton, you won't press the package so the juice won't be squeezed uncontrollably. Now, if you have a mason jar and a blender with a screw on top, this secret is life-changing. You can actually put a mason jar directly onto the blender and make any shake you want without having to wash the blender jar. Just don't put your device on max. There's one trick you can use to make salt and pepper come out smoothly. Grab a container with pepper or salt, turn it upside down. There are ridges on the bottom of the shaker. Now grab the second container and rub those ridges together. The vibrations will make the product literally flow out. Most headphones, both wired and wireless, have little holes. They're needed to ensure good sound. The air circulates through those holes, which is important for the sound quality. Stick sachets were designed smartly. No need to tear one of its edges. The right way is to tear them down the middle. Now, you may say it's not a big difference, but at least there's less mess with those torn paper bits. If two zips for one section seem a bit too much for you, it's probably time you started using them wisely. It's a great pickpocket proof. You can put on a small lock on those zippers and make sure no one but you can open your backpack. Hide the key in the fifth pocket on your jeans that was originally designed to keep watches safe. So, now you know. New iPhone models with large screens have a convenient option called reachability. Thanks to this function, you don't have to struggle to reach the top of the screen. This feature can be found in the phone's accessibility settings. It allows you to lower your screen down. The rumble strips on the side of the road are there to wake up sleepy drivers who doze off behind the wheel. When your tires drift off onto these strips, the noise and vibration work like an alarm clock. Most kitchen shears have metal plier-like teeth in the middle. They allow you to use the device for multiple purposes. They're placed between the handle grips for you to crack nuts, crab shells, and whatnot. You can also open jars and bottles with their help. Some people even use these teeth to remove stems from herbs. If your audio jack has three rings, it means your device can produce stereo sound, and your earphones have the microphone function. The black grating on a microwave oven door is called a Faraday shield. It stops microwaves from getting away. If they do, your food won't cook properly. The digits on an egg can tell you a lot about the product. In many countries, there's a special labeling system. The first number indicates the method of production. The following two-letter code stands for the country where the egg was produced. And then you can find a registration number. It indicates the laying hen establishment. The first number in this code can vary from 0 to 3. 0 means it's an organic egg. 1, it's a free-range egg, which means it was produced by a hen that was allowed to wander around outdoors. 2 stands for an egg produced in a deep litter indoor housing. 3, you're about to buy a cage farming egg. A black band that runs along the edges of your windshield is called the frit. It's a baked-in ceramic paint that starts as solid black bands near the edge of the windshield. Then it dissolves into smaller dots. The frit makes the glass rougher, and the adhesive sticks to it better. The frit protects the urethane sealant. It's the substance that fixes the glass to the frame. It also prevents the sun's ultraviolet rays from melting the adhesive. As for the black dots, they help distribute the temperature in the car more evenly. They're aesthetically pleasing, too. Without them, the contrast between the glass and the dark band would be too obvious. If you see a pair of jeans with an extra loop, those are special jeans for cyclists. They're likely to belong to the commuter clothing line, and the loop's main purpose is to hold your bike lock. 
Many zipper sliders have outer rings, especially if such sliders are supposed to be used together. These rings are added so that you can connect the sliders with a lock and keep pickpockets away. Keyboards come with little legs. They were designed for you to be able to tilt your keyboard. This way, you can actually see which keys you're hitting. At the same time, a flat keyboard doesn't make your wrists so tired, and people who can type without looking at the keyboard don't need those legs whatsoever. An olive spoon is usually made of stainless steel and has a small hole cut in its bowl-shaped head. The main purpose of this utensil is to lift olives, cherries, pickled garlic, and other products from liquid-filled jars, cans, or bowls. The hole in the middle allows you to drain the liquid gathering in the spoon fast and easily. What'll they think of next? Donuts are shaped like rings because, otherwise, they get overdone at the edges and remain uncooked and gooey inside. Make a hole in the center, and both the outsides and the insides will be cooked at the same time. Round-shaped donuts with no holes are usually filled with custard, cream, or jelly. Mm. Such donuts don't have any corners, which means there are fewer weak spots for the filling to spurt out from. If you grab a full juice box a bit too firmly, you can get sticky liquid all over the place. To avoid such situations, flip up the tabs on the sides of the juice box. You can use them to hold your drink. Another common misconception? White chocolate isn't actually chocolate, since it doesn't contain any chocolate solids. It's made only from a mixture of sugar, milk products, vanilla, lecithin, and cocoa butter. Parents all over the world don't try to convince their kids to eat broccoli for no reason. On a calorie-by-calorie basis, it turns out that broccoli has nearly as much protein in it as a steak. Now, I'm not convinced parents actually know that, but given the low-fat content, Broccoli has many other health benefits as opposed to meat. We now see it as the mandatory companion for fries, but at some point in time, ketchup was actually considered to have healing properties. In the 1880s, a doctor based in Ohio indicated that tomatoes could help treat digestive issues, publishing a ketchup-like formula that was later transformed into a pill. Hey, you want to have a pill with those fries? Speaking of french fries, it turns out one of the most popular side dishes in the world isn't actually French. Potatoes served this way actually originated in Belgium, but they're called that because of how they're cut. And maybe also because the name Brussels sprouts was already taken. I'm almost certain there's a jar of peanut butter somewhere in your cupboard. But I'll bet you didn't know how valuable it actually was. And I'm not talking about peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Studies have shown that Americans go through enough peanut butter to coat the floor of the Grand Canyon each year. Just to be a bit more precise here, that's about 500 million pounds. Hey, if somebody did that on YouTube, I'd watch. The pink coloring of salmon isn't always like that by default. Wild salmon is pink due to a large amount of shrimp they consume natively. Farm-raised salmon, however, is generally white. So producers need to add plant-based pigments to get that light pink hue. Carrots weren't originally orange either. The red-yellow tint we are now familiar with comes from a genetic mutation of the well-known vegetable that occurred somewhere in the 16th century. Carrots were initially white or purple. Just like you add ketchup to the side of fries, you're most likely having a dab of wasabi with every plate of sushi. Well, it's most certainly dyed horseradish. The Japanese alternative to horseradish is quite expensive. That's why 99% of restaurants in the U.S. actually use regular horseradish instead. You may see them packed together in the supermarket, but red, green, and yellow peppers aren't actually the same vegetable. You'd need different types of seeds to be able to grow them individually, as they're each their own type of plant species. Did you know one in four hazelnuts ends up in a Nutella jar? The creamy spread is so popular that scientists are looking into ways to grow hazelnuts in labs to counteract the global shortage. That's something to think about when you ask for an extra topic. Sure, there's an expiration date on each bottle of water, but the water itself doesn't actually expire. The date mentioned there is, in fact, for the bottle itself, since the plastic can eventually leak harmful substances into the water. Ever wondered why airplane food sometimes tastes bland? The chef may not always be to blame. The altitude you're flying at has some effects on your body chemistry, making you taste things differently. You've added it to a salad at least once. 
But you may be surprised to know that cilantro and coriander are not, in fact, the same thing. Coriander is what the dried seeds are called, while the leaves and the stems go by cilantro. So now you know. For all the fruit lovers out there, scientists came up with a fruit salad tree. Yep, that's right, a tree that can grow different types of fruit at the same time. They were developed in Australia and can support up to six different types of fruit. There's a stone fruit variation that features peaches, plums, nectarines, apricots, and peach cots, and a citrus variation for those who prefer lemons, limes, mandarins, oranges, or even tangelos, pomelos, and grapefruits. You most likely avoid it because it can give you bad breath. But garlic is considered one of the most nutrient-dense foods out there. A single clove of garlic can contain 2% of your vitamin B6 for the whole day. Studies have shown that the chemical that gives garlic its distinctive flavor, called allicin, is good for your health. The only type of food that never spoils when stored properly is honey. Or at least, the only one we've discovered so far. That's because it contains a high amount of sugar and has a low moisture content. An enzyme created by bees also helps do the trick, as it can suppress any bacterial growth. Of course, if you store your honey the wrong way and expose it to additional moisture, it can go bad. That hole in your hollow lollipop stick isn't to prevent choking, should it ever be swallowed. It's actually there to keep the candy in place. Excess candy flows into the hollow tube and the hole, which, when it hardens, keeps the pop in place. If it was a smooth stick, the candy would slide off easily. The zipper on leather biker jackets is often sewn diagonally. It's not just a fashion statement. Zips that are stitched vertically can bunch up if the wearer leans forward, but a diagonal zipper won't. That little triangle on your gas gauge is there to let you know which side of the car your gas cap is on. Now you'll never pull up to the wrong side of the pump in a rental car again. Vacuums come with so many attachments, but do any of us really know what that one with long bristles is for? It's for dusting and is perfect for cleaning framed art, blinds, and lampshades. Those tiny holes in the chocolate box tray actually serve a function. Push the hole near the candy and it'll pop straight out with you having to get your hands dirty. How thoughtful! Some skyscrapers have hollow floors that can contain nothing but an elevator. It's actually a way to get around height limits. Some skyscrapers are given a limit to the number of floors they can have. Because the hollow floors are empty, they add to the height of the building and make it look more impressive without increasing the number of floors and breaking the building contract. These hollow floors also help to prevent the spread of fires. Women's shirt buttons are traditionally on the left for a reason. Back in the day, it was a sign of wealth, as it signified that a chambermaid had dressed you, as having the buttons on the left made it easier for them to do up the shirt. Your cuticles serve a purpose, so think before you get rid of them. The small area of skin is there to protect your nails from infection. Without it, bacteria and fungi can get in. What's the difference between a wooden hanger and a plastic one? Aside from helping keep your clothes in shape, Cedar wood hangers also repel moths and bugs. If you look closely at an elevator door, you'll notice a tiny hole. This is actually a keyhole used for emergencies or for routine maintenance checks. Those random buttons dotted across your jeans are called rivets and are placed in the weakest spots of the jeans to protect them from ripping due to strain or movement. The Statue of Liberty's crown has seven points for a reason. They represent the seven seas and seven continents and were added so that she could extend her freedom to everyone on Earth. Suitcases often come with two zippers so that you can connect them with a padlock to prevent theft. Salt isn't just used for cooking. It can get rid of tough smells. Rubbing salt on your fingertips after chopping garlic should remove the smell. It also works on shoes. If you're in a hurry to get somewhere but your phone is low on charge, Switch it to airplane mode while it's plugged in. It'll charge much faster. Men's shirts have a loop on the back so that they can be hung on a hook in a dressing room or a locker room without creasing. Vaseline has a hidden purpose. It's great for removing scuffs from patent leather shoes. It'll also shine them. Now, bubble wrap wasn't invented just to keep your items neatly stored inside packages. It was for epic stress relief. Oh, and one other thing? 
Apparently, someone thought their house would look awesome with three-dimensional wallpaper. They were going to plaster painted bubble wrap all over the walls. It didn't work, so they tried selling it as greenhouse insulation. That failed too. But they nailed it on the third try. Small bubbles, big bubbles. Hey, what's your favorite? After downing a whole thing of mac and cheese, you've got to clean your teeth. It's a rule. Off you go to grab your blue toothbrush from the bathroom. Up and down, circles, rinse. Hey, good job! Now, how about a bit of mouthwash to keep your breath fresh? That mouthwash you're searching for wasn't always mouthwash. It used to be an antiseptic. You know, the type of thing doctors and nurses use to keep their hands bacteria-free? Mmm, minty! Mouthwash was also used as a floor cleaner and a cure for bad diseases. It was even marketed as a hair tonic. Hey, next time I clean my house and find myself out of cleaning products, I might just pop a few lidfuls of mouthwash into the bucket. (laughs) Play-Doh. Yeah, you love it. I mean, it does whatever you want it to. Stretch it, sculpt it into a dinosaur, make the world's longest blue pasta type thing. Just don't chuck it at the walls. Unless… Yep, Play-Doh was initially supposed to be a wallpaper cleaner. And it wasn't until 20 years later that it became the clay we all love to squeeze into weird shapes. It was a popular way of getting all that soot off your wallpaper. Everyone was using coal to heat their houses back then. Rings are big business. People wear them for loads of different reasons. You even get one when you win a Super Bowl. Yippee! Back in the day, though, rings weren't just for show. Archers used to wear them to protect their fingers from their bowstrings, and people doing needlework used them to make sure they didn't hurt themselves, all while looking extra stylish. Egyptians used them as seals, a personal ring signature. You walk into your very nice Egyptian office thousands of years ago. Everything's made of gold for some reason. Your boss walks in, sign this please, and all you do is place a bit of wax on the paper and press your ring on it. Sweet! Great idea! What if you lose your ring, though? Along with Play-Doh, everyone loves a slinky, especially when it's in a YouTube video with some funky music in the background. They were actually invented by accident. Back in the 1900s, an engineer was working hard at his desk to find a way to keep sensitive nautical equipment steady while the boat was swishing around all over the place. Instead, he came up with a fantastic toy find a treadmill, put a slinky on it, thank me later. Don't know where to store your freshly baked pie? Place it on a frisbee, if you want the chef to scream at you. In 1871, when frisbees first came to be, that's exactly what they were used for, to serve pies. Here you go, your strawberry pie on a frisbee tin. College students came up with a much better use for them, though. Can you do the thing where you throw it upside down? When you go to bed, you expect your pillow to be as soft as cotton. Or maybe you prefer it a bit stiffer. The first pillows, however, weren't fluffy-wuffy soft. They were as hard as stone. Because, you know, they were literally made out of stone. They were designed to lift your head off the ground and stop little critters from crawling all over us. They eventually turned soft, thankfully. I don't think my neck could handle a stone pillow right now. I'm sore just thinking about it. Hey, if you're anything like me, hey, aren't you glad you're not? You probably can't walk for even a few seconds in heels without falling over. I think even standing up might be a problem. Back in the 16th century, Persian soldiers used high heels to get more accuracy from their bows while on horseback. Some cars have a tiny coffee cup sign on the dashboard. It's the vehicle's anti-drowsiness mechanism. Some manufacturers equip their cars with a drowsiness detection system. It analyzes the speed, wheel angle, and lane deviations and figures out if it's time for the driver to take a break. If it is, the vehicle makes several audio signals and the coffee cup sign starts to flash. Produce stickers on fruit and veggies you get at the supermarket are full of information. If there's a four-digit code on the sticker, the product was grown conventionally. In most cases, it also means that pesticides were used in the process. If the product is organic, its sticker has 5 digits, and the first one is 9. Genetically modified products also have a 5-digit code, but the first number is 8. Sugar used to be sold in sugar loaves. Those were tall, hard cones. At those times, to get sugar ready for tea, people had to use special hammers to break a loaf apart first. After that, they cut the sugar into smaller and more nicely shaped lumps. Only in the middle of the 19th century 
people invented the first press that cut sugar into cubes. This way, the product was easier to store and transport. A little hole in the end of your wrench can provide your screwdriver with some extra torque. Just slide the end with the hole over the screwdriver. You can also use this method when the angle is awkward. While driving, when it's already dark, you might get blinded by the headlights of the car moving behind yours. If you have a manual rearview mirror, find a tab at the bottom and flip it. The mirror has a reflective material behind its glass. By flipping the tab, you change the angle of this material, dimming the lights in the mirror. Most ice cream scoopers come in different colors. It has nothing to do with aesthetics. The color indicates the size of the scoop. This way, you can easily figure out how many scoops you'll need to fill 32 ounces. Wow, a 32-ounce sundae! Sign me up! Some caps on small tubes are hollow on top and have a little spike inside. Its purpose is to break the foil sticker sealing the tube. The neck fits right in this hole, and the spike is designed to break the seal. This way, you don't need to tear the tiny foil seal off with your fingers. The letter R in a circle on the product's packaging means that the trademark is officially registered. Once it's done, the trademark's owner has the right to place this letter on all their products. They can also sue anyone who tries to use their trademark. A gas pump usually has a small metal latch or hook on its handle. That's a trigger lock. You can use it to lock the handle in the open position. Then the gas will keep pumping even if you walk away. Coins used to be shaped randomly or have no shape whatsoever in the past. Dishonest people used it to their advantage. They stole valuable metals the coins were made of by chipping their corners off. It was illegal, and to prevent this kind of fraud, round coins were invented. After that, it became easy to instantly notice when a coin had been fiddled with. Those two holes in a lollipop stick are there to hold the candy in place. When the stick is dipped in hot liquid syrup, it flows into the holes and solidifies. Now your sweet is there to stay. Fabric squares that come with clothes are for you to try out your cleaning products on them first. This way, you won't ruin the entire item once you decide to wash it. The holes in the bottoms of earphones allow air to circulate up and through the speakers. It helps to increase low frequencies, making the bass sound deeper. The sound quality also becomes much better. Don't I sound better? Thank you! You can adjust your stapler so that it staples documents together only temporarily. It's done by rotating the crimp area. Most staplers have two options for stapling. One is standard, but the other side bends staples away from the center. Later, when you don't need them anymore, you can easily remove them by hand. If you store peanut butter jars upside down, the oil will move to the bottom and all the solids will be on top. Hey, don't laugh, that matters to some people. You don't want to get caught with your peanut butter down. Now, don't blame that little lump on your computer cable for getting stuck somewhere for the umpteenth time. This cylinder, shapes and colors may vary, actually prevents interference from other signals, like those your phone emits. A lack of privacy in public bathrooms, I mean those large gaps beneath where normal doors tend to be, is there for a reason. This way, people do their business faster and there are fewer lines. Also, if something goes wrong, it's easy to find a person who needs help. In London, there are some poles that kind of look like street lamps, but there are no bulbs. Well, their official name is stink pipes, and they're a thing of the past now, but they used to come in handy back in the 19th century. These hollow poles would vent away the air and explosive gases with bad smells to prevent, shall we say, unwanted consequences. Blank pages in the books aren't actually for the author's signature. It's all about the manufacturing process. Books are printed on large sheets, so one sheet can fit in four pages. If a book has an odd quantity of printed pages, chances are you'll get a blank one for notes. Now, originally, golf balls were smooth. But some time ago, players noticed that overused balls with damages flew better than brand new ones. At some point, they started producing balls with dimples. Windshield black dots help disperse the sun glaring right into your eyes. This sort of frame keeps the UV rays away, so it serves as sunglasses for your car. The tab on the rearview mirror has obvious functions. It holds your air freshener, that cute toy. But in reality, it was meant to be a tumbler between day and night mode. 
it reduces the glare from the car behind you, so you can't be blinded. Colored dots on chip bags aren't as useful as those on the windshield, but they have a purpose too. Manufacturers need them to control the package color and show what ink color was used on the package. No big deal. Your microwave has a silent mode. Seriously. If those beeps drive you nuts, press 1 or 0 and hold. It might work. Also, there is sometimes a silent button you kept ignoring all this time. Anyway, there are no two identical microwaves, so a manual should come in handy. Grocery cart loops have more functions than you think. You don't want to put your fancy white jacket in a cart next to carrots and coke. This little hook-like thingy helps organize all the stuff in your cart better, so you can enjoy your shopping trip. Another thingy we often neglect is a point on an ointment cap. Most tubes are usually sealed with plastic film or foil, and opening it with your fingernails isn't the best idea. A point easily opens even the most safely sealed tube. Automatic lip liners and eye pencils have a sharpener installed in the package. The lid on the back part of the pencil doesn't only reveal the color. You can pull it out and sharpen up the product. Toothpicks come in different varieties, and one of them is a bit puzzling. Sometimes they have several grooves. The first one is weak, so it's easy to break the toothpick in two. The smaller section with one more groove can be used as a stand to avoid the contact with the table. You can make a makeshift stand for disposable chopsticks. They have a sort of lump at one side before you split the pair. So next time you have a sushi dinner, try breaking off that lump instead of regular splitting. When you want to take a sushi break, just place the stick on this stand. Yeah, you've heard before that a drawer beneath your oven is there for keeping the food warm if the guests are running late. Here's one more hidden function. You can slow cook on lower temperatures in that drawer, too. All the bottles used to be of the same green color once. But later it was discovered that brown ones are way better at blocking UV light. Say no more. T-shirt. Now, why is that called a t-shirt? Come on, people. Well, they didn't used to call them that. These classics used to be standard-issue undershirts for the Navy. Back then, about 100 years ago, the word t-shirt wasn't even in the dictionary. Back in ancient Egypt, some people walked around with eye shadow. Now, you might think they were really ahead of the game when it came to fashion. That might be true, but mostly, they put it on to protect their eyes from the glare of the raging hot desert sun. No aviators back then. It was also used as a part of some ceremonies. We don't really know what they were doing or why, but for sure, they look good. Can't wait to see someone skiing down a hill with a face full of eyeshadow. Okay, you're having memory problems. No worries, we've all been there. Where? I forget. Go to your drawer and grab a stack of, yeah, those thingies, post-its. Now, write yourself a note. I'm almost out of post-its. Ooh, very efficient. They were invented by accident by a scientist who was researching different glues. While he was trying out different mixtures, he discovered a special recipe for a glue that only stuck very lightly to most surfaces. He was actually trying to do the opposite, find the recipe for the biggest, baddest glue ever, one that could hold up framed paintings. Still, I'd argue that post-its are probably way better than an adhesive that strong. A Kleenex comes in handy anywhere especially if you just bit into a hot dog and mustard is oozing all over your hands. They weren't originally thought to be multi-purpose. They were originally invented to be a cold cream remover. What a weird specific use. Over the years, people started using them for anything and everything they could think of, especially as a disposable handkerchief. When their marketing team took notice of this, they rebranded them into what we know and love Kleenex tissues. How generic! You're trying to blend in and look cool at a restaurant, and you spill your drink all over the tablecloth. Uh Uh-oh, you were originally going to order water, but the waitress convinced you to order their new cherry-infused something or other that's going to stain like crazy. Well, not to worry, cellophane was designed to tackle this exact issue. The idea was to wrap the tablecloth with it, and then any and all spills could be wiped clean. It didn't quite work out. But instead, we found a great new purpose for it. 
storing food, and it does the job perfectly. Plus, it's great for the odd prank now and then. You know what I mean. You know pom-poms on caps? If you've ever wondered what those are for, they're just decorative. Still, sailors used to use them a bit differently. They use them as sort of antennas, the way animals do to sense if an object is too close to them. Insects have them. Cats and other small mammals use their long whiskers to test if they can squeeze into a tight spot. And humans have pom-poms. Thanks to them, no more bumps on the head. The small square patches on a lot of backpacks nowadays are mostly decorative. Still, they used to be nice little gadgets for outdoorsy people. They used to tie extra equipment onto those squares, or use them to tie their muddy sneakers onto. They might have lost their usage over the years, but they kept their funny name. You can call them lash tabs or pig snouts. A good pair of sunglasses completes any outfit. They're not just for show, a lot of professionals rely on them. Professional drivers, pilots, construction workers, they all use them to make their jobs safer. About a thousand years ago, judges used to wear them. Picture this, you're in a 12th century trial. Wonder how the judge is going to rule on this one. You try really hard to guess what the judge is thinking, but you can't. The judge has sunglasses on, the perfect way to hide your face while you interrogate someone. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.